The speakerphone button on your handset allows you to place an answer in coming calls. The button will go green once activated. You can also mute your activity on a call at any time by pressing the mute button. This button will glow red once activated. There are a number of ways to answer a call. You can pick up the handset directly, press the speakerphone button, or press the headset button with the headset attached. Another way to answer a call is via the headset screen by pressing the answer button on any incoming call. With the current caller active or on hold, press the transfer button on your handset. This will put the caller in a hold state and take you to the transfer screen. You can then use the up and down arrows on your phone to select the transfer number. Then press the send button to successfully transfer the call. From the home view, use the arrows on your handset to select and access the directory's phone application. Within the directories window, use the up and down arrows to select option 2. To find a specific employee in your company, use the numbers on your phone's keypad to type in the surname of the employee. This will automatically refresh the screen with potential matches to your search. Once the match is visible, use the up and down arrows on your handset to select the specific caller. To initiate the call, Press the dial button. You can place any call on hold. To hold an active call, press the call hold button on your handset. This will turn the call window red and put the caller in a hold state. To resume the call, press the call hold button or the answer button. To redial a previously called number, press the right button on your handset whilst in the lines view. This will transfer you to the call lists menu. You can select the number you wish to call by using the up and down arrows. Once the number is selected, press the dial button to start the call. To initiate a call, dial the number you wish to call from your handset. You can also choose your preferred method to make the call by picking up the handset, pressing the loudspeaker button or pressing the headset button with the headset attached. You can also dial a number directly from your phone screen. This can be done by selecting a favourite from the lines view from your recently called list or from your contact directory. To toggle the Do Not Disturb feature on and off, press the DND button on your handset. With Do Not Disturb enabled, the phone will stop ringing and all incoming calls will be sent to voicemail. However, all missed calls will be logged in the recent call list menu for future use. There are a number of visual aids that will make you aware that you're in do not disturb mode. Home screen with do not disturb feature off. Home screen with do not disturb feature on. To initiate a conference call, please follow these steps. The first step is to call the first member of the conference call. Then from the screen, press the More button on your handset. With this selected, press the Conference button. This will bring up the conference window. 
which will allow you to select the second conference caller. To do this, you can either input the desired number from your keypad or use the up and down buttons to highlight the caller and use the central button to confirm. Doing this will join all callers into one single collaborative conference call. To toggle hold a conference call, which affects all participants on the conference call, press the hold button on your handset. When a conference call is on hold, no one in the conference call can hear each other until the hold button is deactivated. To end the conference call, press the end call button on your handset.